We are talking all things parenting. We are joined by our creative parenting expert, Nikki Bush, this morning, and we're helping you to understand your kids as best as possible. So the topic this morning, how to give proper attention to your children. Earlier we spoke about the importance of paying attention to your child and how a lack thereof leads to negative attention-seeking behavior. We're continuing that conversation with our regular creative parenting expert, Nikki Bush. Nikki, so for any parent that's watching this morning and sees these kind of behaviors in their own children, how do they actually begin to correct it? Leanne, we need to learn how to fill our children's emotional cups so that they're not resorting to negative attention-seeking behavior. And I think our children know that fundamentally we love them. Absolutely, yeah. they know that. But I think a big question in our busy lives today is can they trust us to show up for them? And so often we are with our children physically, but we're not emotionally accessible. And often children will say, mommy, 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 you're not listening to me. And they've been jabbering on and you go, what did you say? Uh, because you're not actually listening. Your head's in it's another true. space. Yeah. So learning how to be here right now with my children is important. Important. And I would say to parents, as you walk through that door at the end of a day and your children haven't seen you, just fill that cup straight away. Don't wow. say, because this is the default setting, um, I've got to cook the dinner, I've got to do this, you go watch TV, you go and play on some device or another. Rather invite them in to do those chores with you because they've been watching you all their lives, they want to get good at what you do. And in doing that, you spend quality time together, you teach them something useful, a life skill, and in some non-verbal way, you're saying, I trust you, I believe in you, I love you, I know you can do this. And then also just finding moments to connect physically. You know, when you've been apart, mm. so wrestle with each other on the floor. Go for a swim. It's now beautiful spring, yeah. summertime. Um, and here's another thing. At the end of a busy day, you can bath with your children. Yeah. It's not a taboo thing, but it's a lovely way to reconnect yeah, with children. Exactly. I'm so happy that you're sharing this because that was going to be my next question to you. What are some of the tangible tips that you can give parents to make sure that they are getting over the negative, you know, attention-seeking behavior? You used a very interesting word there, tangible. Yeah. Children are multi-sensory learners. They don't know things they don't understand abstract. Mm. So we need to make our presence very physically felt for them. You know, just being on the end of a phone is very different from being very physically yeah. present and emotionally accessible. So when you're with your kids, don't hang off the end of a cell phone. Mm. If you've only got that half hour in the car with your kids, maybe that's the only quality time you have today. Yeah. Rather play some fun word games than taking calls all the time. Yeah, and I think it just comes down to the fact that you're the best teacher they're ever gonna have, you know? We're the primary educator, yeah. and we actually are what we call the hidden curriculum. Mm. We send our children to school to learn the formal curriculum. Yeah but there is about 80% of what they really need to learn comes off the hidden curriculum. Oh, Nikki, this is parenting <laughs> gold. This is parenting gold. I promise you, she's gonna be on speed dial when I have kids one day. You're amazing, thank you so much. Thanks, Leah. Oh, what an absolutely powerful talk on helping to get over the negative attention-seeking behavior that your child might be experiencing. And remember when you go home today, it's all about, yes, I hear you, yes, I see you, yes, you are important to me.